Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden Player Creation tutorial video. Today we are doing Marshall 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 Falk from the Indianapolis Colts, and mostly known for playing with the St. Louis Rams and that greatest show on turf unit that was so deadly on the offensive side of the football. So, Marshall Falk, great suggestion by whoever did it. Again, I like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to start shouting out guys who who do, you know, are the first to mention a player uh, that I should do in a video, and uh, I will shout them out at the end of the video, or, if the, or in the beginning, one of the two, um, so stay tuned for that, apologize for anybody um, who did suggest a player in the past, and I didn't shout them out, obviously, because I have yet to have done any of that uh, as of late, but going on into Marshall Falk and his contribution as a player in the NFL during his time, um, and really, uh, this guy <laughs> is like the best receiving running back of all time, probably in my personal opinion, there's there's definitely other guys that are up there. Uh, Marcus Allen's one really notable one. And, and there's definitely some guys that were kind of, I guess, mostly centered around catching the football more than being a running back. But when I think of greatest receiving backs, I kind of think of guys that are also good at running the football, which is a category that I feel like guys like Marshall Falk and Marcus Allen uh, are the epitome of. And there's some other guys, obviously, for sure. But the way Falk was used and his numbers and having the most receiving yards as a running back ever – it just helps a lot, I feel like, in, in defending that statement. So, again, going into Marshall Falk and what he was able to do during his career. Seven-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro. Um, obviously won that Super Bowl title with the greatest show on turf, Rams. Uh, Kurt Warner, Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce, Orlando Pace, um, you know, Mike March, Dick Vermeil, those guys. Um, it was just a phenomenally talented team offensively, and they were able to win a title. And, and again, a lot of people think that it's crazy, you know, they... they talked a lot about them losing to New England also um, and they could have won you know two titles uh, kind of reminds myself of of Seattle when they you know played really well in that Super Bowl back in 2013 um, obviously a little bit different situation because Rams barely were able to win their first Super Bowl um, and Seattle won that one 2013 in pretty uh, outstanding fashion and were very close to winning it again Rams were not quite as close in my opinion to beating the Patriots as the Seahawks were uh, in their second time around, their second consecutive year in the Super Bowl. But nonetheless, the LA or the St. Louis Rams with Marshall Falk, you know, the numbers that he put up uh, in terms of rushing the football, 18 touchdowns in that 2000 season, uh, over 1300 receiving yards combined for you know, <laughs> I mean I mean some of, his num some of these numbers are kind of just ridiculous. Oh, combined for 26 touchdowns that season, receiving and rushing, 81 receptions, 830 yards, along with you know having 1,300 plus yards and 18 touchdowns on the ground. Uh, really staggering numbers. Had a thousand yards receiving in 1999. I mean, that's kind of unheard of at the 87 receptions that are running back. I mean. Even like David Johnson, you know, he's a guy that they compare nowadays and I've been in Arizona to a guy like Marshall Falk. But it's really, it's just not the same. And um, that, it's just, you, you can't really ask it to be the same. Marshall Falk is just a superstar legend. Not that David Johnson won't be a great player, but I think it's tough to compare uh, right now. But, you know, maybe in the future, David Johnson will be able to establish himself as a guy that really becomes known as the next Marshall Falk. Only time will tell. But, um, and, and by the way, I think I, I sorry, I, I was thinking about um, the Rams. Actually, it was 1999-2001, the two years they went to the Super Bowl, not back-to-back -back like Seattle. I don't know why I thought. I kind of get confused uh, with those early, late 90s, early 2000 years. But uh, regardless, let's go into the equipment for Marshall Falk. You see the elbow pads right there. The gloves, I think, end up being Nike. I don't think I go anything too crazy with the cleats. But, I, again, I do like to kind of go with some old school looks. So, I do like the Pintos a lot With like, when I make these videos. The player exclusive retros aren't too bad with a lot of looks. I think I might have been considering these. And I think I ended up switching it. And the, the really nice ones I like, especially with this color combination. I know this wasn't a jersey that Marshall Falk donned during his time with the Rams. But... It still looks really clean, <laughs> and uh, we don't have an option, unfortunately, Madden. That's one thing I really would like EA to adjust next year and in the future years. I would really think it'd be it'd be awesome, especially when we're looking at these players on the screen right here, if they could just manage to change the uniforms to you know your 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 choice, so that you could actually see um, you know what the player looked like with his own uniform on, which I think would make it more authentic looking. Um, for certain, but you know, only 
time will tell if they actually will make an adjustment to that. Very kind of small adjustment, but I think it would make a pretty nice difference. But again, the Nikes, the vintage Nikes, those whites are really nice. I, I really like the way they look there. And a lot of times, the players, late 90s, they wore kind of white shoes in general, so um, it's, it's pretty authentic there. And again, the rating is completely subjective, but you know that Marshall Fogg was an extraordinarily explosive player. Incredible cutter in the open field. I feel like there's only so many players I would be more fearful of in the open field than Marshall Falk, one of them being named Barry Sanders, and I don't know if there's too many other guys aside from that. Just the shiftiness, the speed, uh, the combination of balance by Marshall Falk, uh, it, it's it's really uh, spectacular, I mean, to be honest with you. Um, I really wish I could have, again, watched more of some of these guys play. They're just unbelievable talents, and fortunately, we still have great talent in the NFL today, but... In the running back position, I feel like it, I don't know if it's gone down, um, but the league has definitely gone more pass oriented. And not that Marshall Falk was a uh, a guy that wasn't, you know, he was a pass oriented guy. He was a receiver, receiving running back a lot of time. But um, just his ability in the open field uh, is tough to match, man. But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of these Madden player creation tutorial videos. Again, thank you everybody for the support for these videos. I feel like it's been getting a solid amount. Um, you know, almost like five likes per video, which is cool. If we get to ever 10, 15, 20 likes, those are the numbers that would really be awesome to see at some point. But that's going to probably take some more time to get to that point. But I uh, really appreciate the support. Continue to suggest uh, players for me to do, and I will do them in the future. Um, but once again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And, yep, thanks for watching.